And when it comes to not knowing anything about a game, that would be me and High Fleet. It won the long play vote. Although I don't really know anything about it. It was just put on there, and I took a quick glance at it on the store page and thought, hmm, that looks good. We'll give it a go. And that's exactly what's happening here and now. I'm going to take a stab in the dark and assume some kind of Russian-made game here. On my order, proceed to Kalu at once. Meet with Prince. Imperial Decree. Represent Crown. Talks with Prince. Okay. Very good. The Great Desert of Jarat, an ancient kingdom ruled over this land long ago. It was torn apart by strife. Internecine War. The last king of Jarat swore allegiance to the Romans. Hmm. Where exactly are we set here? This land seems to be doomed to bear the burden of war for all time. Seven years ago, an imperial officer, Lord da da da, overthrew King. Okay, so big rebellion in Sandy Place. And now the time has come. Let's end this war once and for all. Hmm. We've all heard that one before. Right, is this Mr. Tutorial Man? Wake up, Tarkan. I'm guessing that's me. Oh, nice, so it's in blue. We can hover over it for some explanation. Or maybe just lower. Tarkan is an officer in the Imperial Fleet. We command the operational groups in a squadron. Commanding, you say. Our long journey is finally behind us. Everyone's eager to hear you give the order to land. To set a new destination, move the cursor to Ellie and press right click. So we're going to Ellie. Is this Ellie or is this Ellie? Oh, this is us with no destination. Let's go to Ellie and land there. Press space to unpause. Gotcha. Going to assume this is our UI for flying around in whatever flying machine we have here. Looks to be a lot of buttons and it looks to be stuff all over the place. Don't really know where the best place to put chat is. Maybe it'll be the bottom left. It seems the least, uh, least used up there. So, uh, down we go, I guess. Open hatch, enter town. Alright, let's go. Select ships to land in the docks. Uh, I don't know. I can't pick any, I can't pick none of them. Just, uh, okay. Well, we'll pick just the one here. Quick explanation on landing. I don't know what this board means. Gently lower the ship at landing point without damaging it. Ah! It's glorified pilot wings! I love pilot wings! Uh, if anything, this looks to be the parachute level. Seems to be falling a bit fast, so let's do a bit less of that falling. Alright, so maybe a bit more of that falling. And gently down she goes. Perfect. The humming of the pump dry suddenly dies down. The ship comes to a stop. Prepared to send a ramp. Company, small group of officers, personal guard. Uncertainty awaits you outside. Fills with unease. Small group of people are waiting patiently. Bottom of ramp. The leader is a dignified nobleman. You know what we do to nobles around here. Um, Tarkan. So yes, I am an officer, that's right. Ooh, story choices. I'm here to discuss your involvement in the liberation of Jarat, or... My name is Martin Grand Duke Saidi. Mm, I should probably address him honorably there. Ooh! Right, no, it's actually a visual novel, and we're romancing our way up with, uh... Who's this guy? Well, whoever he is. Fear, Jarat, Romani, Faith, Order, Force, Wealth. No idea what any of these mean. I'm sure it'll be... I'm sure it'll become clear in time. Please forgive the indiscretion. I've never had the pleasure of meeting you before. Think nothing of it. I'm sure two heirs are da 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 The prince nods politely. I'm here to discuss your involvement in liberation. We've been at war with the Gathering. The Gathering, Great Houses, and Assembly of the Roman Dynasties. Uprisings, Emperors... Mm-hmm. 
says Imperial Majesty's Admirals mean to retake it in a single week. Oh, perhaps. My people cannot match the strength of the gathering fleet. We have a single corvette for each of their heavy cruisers. Uh-huh. Well, I'm sure we'll come and crush everything. Even if, by the Almighty's mercy, the Admirals land their ships in Kiva. Kiva? The real Kiva? Kiva is the main city in northern Jerat. Local governor of the city was one who began rebellion against the Romans. Mm hmm. Crown Romani, empire, largest known world, founded in the first century. Da 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 da. da. Yeah, I'm sure we'll do exactly that. Oh, he's impressed with me saying whatever I'm going to do. I will help you meet with the Tarkans of Jerat. Perhaps something of them may be your allies. Tarkan of. Kalu is a good friend of mine. If you come to an understanding, I'm confident. Okay, I'm actually going to be making real alliances and all this. Worthy alliances are exactly what we need right now. It's a shame we had to meet in such troubled times. I've had nothing but trouble, apparently. So. Ooh. Ooh, I quite like this wee panning thing here. Put some nice sprite work on this, and you'd have a nice metal slug level. Yes, Jake, you'll be making alliances. Ah, but do I have to make alliances? Jinx, you come out of one dry lands in Rimworld, you enter right into another. All looks a bit grim. I believe the store page described this as diesel punk as their aesthetic. Well, let's supply up for... Oh, good lord. I think I met you in Resident Evil 4. Well, um... The more the merrier. Let's just buy all their fuel. What? What a bizarre interface. Right, I'm assuming I'm buying all 700 and 713 tons of pressurized methane. That's a lot of fuel. Uh, judging by the size of them, we've got some ginormous things to keep airborne, but okay, there we go. Fills up fuel tanks, but only to 95%. Can we not fill them up more? I suppose not. Let's get out of here. Jake, before first day at school, do I have to make friends? Didn't have much of a choice in my school. There was only... Uh, how many of us were there? Less than 20. Uh, fewer than 20 kids in my school. Alright, let's skedaddle here. Admiral Dudu is also liking me, whoever that is. Oh, well, here's Dude. Maybe that was the guy we just met. Hard to say. Oh, no, he's our immediate superior. Is he him? I don't know. Uh, are we heading for Kalu now? Uh, tell me... Oh, his name is Pyotr. And Daud is the person who... Whatever. Explain yourself. The prince has nothing left with which to fight the gathering. These talks are mere formality. As for the admirals, they're eager to reach the thingy thing as soon as possible. But they'll have to take Ur first. Do you think that Daud was... I have no idea what we're talking about here. Maybe I should read up on what the story is at some point. The campaign has only just begun. I'm confident you'll have ample opportunity to always about proving yourselves around here. We've got the fuel sometime before the ships are done refueling. Um, they're fueling and they're at 51. This interface is a little strange. Well, it's a lot strange. I'm going to try moving this down here because the, the fact that we have some kind of Missile control up in the top right may or may not be useful. How does this game work with saving? Okay, there is no saving, so I'm going to assume this is one of those in for a penny, in for a pound experience. Is? But it's not. Oh! Well, I can, I can click the missile control. That is loud though, isn't it? Oh, I got no options other than main menu. If I go to main menu, can I come back in this? I still think that everything's very loud. There we go, drop it down a bit. Okay, right, we are still back here then. We've got morale, these I assume are those four ships we were shown. Crew is at 115%. Are they just really big? This is time passage, I guess? Ask for help, yeah, help me out here, game. Ask for money? Ooh. Well, we'll keep in mind that we can do that. 
No ECM, no whatever that is. Jeez. It's taking a while to fuel up, but the implication here is that it holds... Oh, it's it's, unpa it's uh, it was paused. That'll be why. There we go. It's, it's fueling up now. This is the passage. Okay, time passes quickly. Shift speeds up the passage of time by a lot. I actually have a thrust control here. That sounds dangerous. Well, it's just a throwing tons of fuel in here. Uh, we're ready to fly. What are your orders? Da, 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 da. What do you think about this whole entire expedition? Maybe you can tell me what we're here for and why we're here. Here, to the south of Jurat, they have nothing but old corvettes commanded by local dukes. It'll simply fall. It's only a matter of time. Uh, I am but an aide to his excellency. It is not my place to question orders. <laughs> Rigo. Really pressing him on this one. If I may say, Tarkan, our numbers are thin. Even if Dao and Soko Belev join, I fear it won't be enough to take Kiva. Don't know why we're so keen on taking Kiva here. You agreed to join this campaign. You're an infantry general, not a fleet officer. Why did you volunteer? Why do you think? A brave officer? I'm not here to brown nose. Admiral Dowd is a friend of yours. You sought to help him. Sounds a bit belittling. You must have volunteered to support me in this new position. Yes, yeah, support me. There we go. He smiles. He's got my back. Okay, let's skedaddle then. To set a destination, move your cursor to a city inside the blue circle and press right mouse button. Seems a bit... Seems a bit uh, gung-ho with the fuel, but sure, let's go over to uh, Merchant Rare Modules. Jake, can you take out the ruler, or is it just decoration? There's a ruler. Ooh, ooh I can. Ah, I can measure things. How do I unmeasure these things? Don't know. What about uh, comp? Ooh. How about a pencil? And how about an eraser? And get rid of all. Ooh. That's like a wee toy. Okay. Pretty cool. So we've got our funds, repair funds. Probably useful to try and figure out what's going on in this UI. Got a flying range, lets us know if we're refueling, low on fuel, total fuel, and that's going down fast. Aircraft group, some kind of down button. Strikes, a hatch, some thrust, looks like we're big on the thrust already. Fueling control, my goodness, this is kind of intimidating. Still can't launch the, the missiles though, disappointing. Okay, well, let's speed it up and get to our destination. I don't know why we're going there, but we are going there. And it's telling me that I'm low on fuel already. Fuel really doesn't last here, does it? Wast does work here, good. So does zooming. Why is it giving me all that womp womp womp? It's simple. Move with Wast. Defensive maneuvers are crucial, hence one must learn to evade firing lines and approach targets tangentially. To shoot in bursts, empty the ammo cassette, maneuver whilst recharging. Are we being intercepted or something? Okay, these are our ships, these are their ships. Which one am I going to be commanding? What is this? Ram, ram, ram. I don't know which of these are going to be fighter crafts or not. Can't move the enemy over to my allies' side. Alright, seems good enough. Let's go into battle. Oh, jeez, okay, that's hard to see. Ah, uh, what? Also, which of these are my enemies? No, really, which of these are my enemies? Well, I guess the one's shooting at me. Not sure I've hit a single thing so far. Ah, 
Okay, seeing already is not my strong point, and this is not making it easy. Where are my where are my allied ships? Is that my ally? I I don't know. How are you meant to tell friend from foe? Okay, well they're all shooting at me, so I guess they're just all my enemies. You bring in one ship at a time, that seems bizarre. Hmm. Your squadron is comprised of several ships. You move the ship you are currently controlling to the retreat marker to make it retreat from battle. The next ship in your roster will enter the battle automatically. That seems very strange. Why bring one ship against three? Okay, well I'm glad I confirmed a kill there, so it seems to have, seems to be implying that I should retreat there and then we bring in another, okay. What is it, too dishonorable to bring in multiple ships against multiple ships? Not oh, good on me. Well that was incredibly strange. I hope we don't have to do a lot of that. So now we can enter the town, I suppose. Let's see. It appears that none of my ships have actually taken any damage. I don't know how many I meant to bring into the docks. Let's bring two this time. I like pilot wings, so doing something like this is quite fun. Hey, there's little little targets on the bottom. One of them said 30. Let's treat this like that penguin minigame in uh, in Pilot Wings. You know, like most things in life, I just think of it as I would in Pilot Wings. Roll and okay. Easily done. So we get faster repair speed, although I don't know why speed would come into it at all. Maybe you can fight with more ships later when you're at a tutorial zone. Well, I wouldn't really call it much of a tutorial zone. It hasn't taught me much other than wast and shoot. Maybe that's all you need to know in a game like this. Can I just land on a building? Well, it matters not. These guys knew the risks. Right, we have an opportunity to replenish missiles in our ships. I highly recommend we do so. Okay, as cute as this rain is, could we please get rid of it somehow? Oops. Thought I'd go to a menu, instead I pressed escape and come to here. I have reported our progress to the Admiral, Admiral Dowd, commander of the first squadron. He happens to be your immediate superior. He treats me like a clueless child. Uh, yes. <laughs> Quite right. Uh, the capital is far away until you return. Dowd is in command. He leaves the squadron. Your Tarkan squadron. Very well. But I ain't ready yet. I need to go back to the... I need to go back to the store and whatnot. Okay, here we are. Supplies is still fuel. I'm going to assume that I need every last bit of fuel there is. Uh -oh. oh, I can pan over here and... My special ammunition register. A lot of options here, no idea which of any of them is going to be the best for anything. Hmm. Hmm. Aircraft rocket 340 millimeters. Well, it's got the biggest number on it, so it must be the best one. I'll take all of these. Yeah, why not? Suitable for no ships. Ooh, that's not good. Do I have any that are suitable for my ships? Okay, pressing escape to try and come out of these menus is a bad idea. Do any of my ships take any of these? Well, I can buy incendiaries. Never fond of those, though. 
Well, seems I have little choice. Give me your incendiaries. This is the roster of all the ships in your squadron, sir. Uh-huh. Move down the screen to the ship's maintenance panel. Whoa! Holy crivens, that jumped. Uh, purchase a missile. Sure, why not? We'll take an R5 Zenith. Now install it on any free hard point on the ship. Ooh, ship's got a lot of points for a lot of things. You can install more missiles on other ships in a similar fashion. Okay, could I get another rocket on another hard point? I don't see why not. Do any of these need repairing? Hard to tell. Total to repair time, total to repair cost. Okay, maybe it repairs faster after my banging good landing. So maybe I should outfit all of them with extra rockets? I don't know, but it doesn't seem that expensive, so why not? This game loves to use the mouse panning at the edge of the screen for everything. Can we get more zeniths here? Feels weird to do this for four ships when you can only use one in combat. Hopefully that changes in time. Okay. You do that. We already bought the supplies, so there doesn't appear to be anything else here. Also, still not sure why I'm here. Guess we wait for the fueling and the repairing. Done refueling, ready to go. And we're going. Actually, where are we going? Meet with Tarkan? Seems about right. Let's go and meet with Tarkan. If we take off now, we won't be able to repair the ships in full. Belay that order. Alright, we're still waiting on the repairs, it seems. Alright. Done and done right. Oh my goodness, there's got to be some way to stop all this ridiculous... Uh... Feels like I'm watching a paused VHS. Well, nobody called it VHS back then. I paused tape. Jake, how many vote swinger points do you have out of curiosity? The owner of a channel doesn't get points. Or rather, we have infinite points, however you want to look at it. Because we don't earn them. We also can't give them away in case you get any ideas about that one. It's the aesthetic. Well... Uh, that's something alright, isn't it? And this is me with dithering off. It still looks like dither city. Alright, something's going on here. Someone's trying to tap through. Is that the radio signal? Oh, shrivens, what's happening now? Afterburners. Activate reheat with shift. Increase thrust while performing defensive or offensive maneuvers. It'll allow you to evade guided missiles. Gain a positional advantage. Reheat for more than several seconds. Cause overheat. And emergency shutdown procedure. Okay. Enemy air defenses, curses. Focus on the enemy ships. We'll capture the ground vehicles once the battle is over. Watch out for missiles. Okay. Still seems the most absurd thing that I bring one ship against four. Oh well. Just gotta get good, I suppose. It makes it a little easier to know which ones I have to fight. Ah, I got this wee thing in the top left. Showing how many bullets I have. Ready to be shot. 
Missile approaching. You can shoot it down or evade it to use a decoy. Press F for a decoy flare. Ah, I'm confident we'll be able to handle it. Oh, that's quite a lot of missiles. Ooh, wait, was that the missile or is this the missile? Ah, that was the missile. Fuel system is on fire. B for suppression system. Okay, well. B, leave it. If you're overheating, put it out. Yeah, there we go. Abandoning ship. If the ship's engine or condition becomes critical, still have a chance. Press T. Nah, we'll just go and retreat. We'll be okay. Oh wait, retreat is over on the left. Ah. Don't worry about it, everyone. I'll get us out of here in one piece. Oh, I can still... I can still shoot. I can also be shot. There we go. Didn't need it anyway. Now let's bring in our other ship. Now, as opposed to before when we could have used it. Can I do a barrel roll? I think I can. Oh, it's telling me a rocket's on its way, right. I don't know why it was getting all boopy on me there. Things I'm not landing a lot of shots of these, are I? I'm doing really good at shooting where the ship isn't. Bye bye crew. Wait, there's a retry option? Ah, not for me, there's not. Okay, so, um... Those crew knew the risk. And now I'm down to 86% crew instead of 115. Very good. Now, why were they shooting at us here in Kalu? You're pretty heavily damaged, so we'll get you... Pilot winged in. Ooh, there's a 58% thing if we just go a little bit to the left. Some good speed. Don't worry about it, folks. Don't worry about it, folks. It's okay. We'll get it fixed in no time. Hard landing. That's fine. Thanks for, your hard work. <laughs> Thanks for my hard work. What a stunning dogfight. Were you aware of the hostile anti air defenses? Yeah, they were not. Tarkan is expanding. And indeed, there's a delegation awaiting you by the ship. Who's this friendly face? Tall man steps forward. He's wearing the armor of a Ha Rashid. Jake, you skipped a tutorial piece saying space for missiles. Skipped it? How could such a thing be possible? Serves the High Lord Governor. Others have taken refuge in the vast deserts of Jarat. In the name of Ishnu, peace be with, with you. Or, your people are for the Romani's traditions plus one? What? Your people are for Romani's traditions plus one. What the hell does that mean? Well, whatever, let's click it. Aha, there we go. Maybe it just means we have some kind of cultural thing that we share. I'm looking for allies to wage war in Kiva. Will you join us? You have my full attention. Speak your mind. 
give him gifts. I can make a speech. If you make a speech, they will enjoy it. Conversation will turn. Oh my god. Cards. Hmm. Well, let's talk to him. They remain silent, but you feel the resentment in the air. Da 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 da. -da. Oh, he doesn't, he doesn't like me talking anymore. Fair enough. God, it really is a dating sim. He's got things that he likes. It's his pride. He's not very happy with me. Maybe I'll give him a gift. Here's a, here's a lovely dagger thing. Dangers of faith and superstition, but he likes a lame... He said, I don't care about talking to this guy. Enough of that. I will not join you, but I will offer you all the help I can. Right, so we just go from A to B, talking people into joining our revolution, I guess. Ah, well, money. Nothing wrong with a bit of money. Although I'm probably going to spend it here in your town. Some of the ships are in need of repair. It's got a shipyard. Let's repair them here. Okay. The ship's in need of... <laughs> There's something I find quite funny about him just pointing to things on the screen. <laughs> just His arm's just rotating around to point at different things. All you need to do is give the order to repair it. The engine and crew will do all they can. It will not be possible to complete the repairs if we don't have the necessary spare parts. Thank you, Pyotr. Now get repairing. Repair everything. Oof, that'll take a while. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Well, I'm sure they'll get to it. Meanwhile, I suppose I should fuel up. And consider more gun. Those incendiaries, sure, why not? I seem to be firing a lot of those. But there was something about... Oh, yeah, most of these don't shoot anything. Incendiary, incendiary, incendiary. I don't really know what all this bullets are. Ooh, that looks like a big one. Ah, but nothing can use it. What a shame. Okay, well, in that case... In that case, it's not a whole lot else to be looking at, so let's come out of here and wait for repairs to be done. Um... Tatarkan of 3rd Task Force, I guess that's me. Good day, Sayati. On my order, seize the city of Melka and await our main forces there. Seize a city, you say? Seems Dowd is reluctant to assault Melka with the bulk of his forces. He's sending us ahead. In case they've got anti-air. But we're air. It's our chance to get into the thick of things. Refueling and departing. A affirmative propagator. Might take a wee while, since we've got all these repairs that we have to do, but somebody banged up our ships. Don't know who it was, probably somebody really bad at their job. There's Melk out to the north. So, up we go. We're only at 72% fuel when we bought every last drop of fuel. Actually, let's get an answer for that. If I go into the supplies area, will they have more fuel for me? <laughs> only three tons of it. Strange, very strange. What the? Okay, there we go. Let's head on over. I'm guessing this red circle is the you are in danger circle, so let's just enjoy the danger. Uh, what? Sometimes I feel like I zoom in into nothingness here. Mm hmm. Hmm? Yeah, I know we're on low fuel, don't worry about it. Right, volley fire, ammo cassette. It is easy to estimate the amount of live munition. This indicator flashing green when your ammo cassette is fully charged. I'm fully charged. Allow the full charge up, then fire. Volley fire increases. Okay, but how do I volley fire? I have no idea. Um, high explosive, high ex yeah, high explosive, sounds good. Get stuck in. Relatively clear conditions. Uh, 
Well, if it's burning, put out the fire, you fools. Oh, right, we're being shot at. Ha ha ha! And a glorious dodge by me. Sure wish I could hit anything, though. Killed something? James, I must be better than I thought. What a bizarre thing this is. Just feels weird. We're having a hard time flying around here, because it feels like we are. Back on course, man. There are people that look like us, speak like us, and fly the same kind of ships as we do, but they still have to die because they're the enemy. Easy does it now. Maybe I should uh, make a cunning retreat. Where's my retreat zone? Thought it was to the right. Wait, now it's down to the right? Oh, oh okay. Um, good job, me. I guess. This whole combat thing feels so bizarre. What are we doing? We're low on fuel. Oh, we don't have... Wait, can I pick up the radio signal? Oh, jeez. What the hell is this? Select band, tune signal, use direction finder, cipher key... This is the decryptor. This is something. Let's not do any of that. What the heck is all that? Let's just let's just go and talk to these lovely people in Melka. And this thing took a ton of damage, so let's get it repaired up. In the 63% zone, please. Do you want some tit? Nah, forget that. Come after some tips, I'll ask for them. It's a lesson Bane is somehow struggling to learn these days. I didn't say it was a hard landing, although it did say it got injured there. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Alright, let's get that thing repaired up to the maximum, please. It's going to take even longer. Oof. Bad times. And I swear I had more cash on me at some point before. I wonder if time is passing when I'm just looking at the screen here. Uh, what is going on with my ship? What? <laughs> Why did my ship suddenly start doing that? Okay, right, I think I understand something. I was using WAS to pan the screen, but that's also what turns your ship into blasting off. Okay, so let's not do that. James, my funds are really going down the toilet these days. And this is, this is such a strange interface. There's a lot of strange interfaces going on here. Seems like I already have a lot of bullets, shells, or cases, or whatever you call these things. Why did I come here? Oh, well, I was just told to come here. Maybe I can get up and leave. Your game has been saved. Ooh, 
some kind of cassette tape. You can now reload the campaign from this point at any time. <laughs> can I get my ships back? Uh, the watch reports a squadron approaching. Ah, who do we have here? Admiral? You have my congratulations, gentlemen. The campaign has proven to be a great success so far. I am confident that we owe the success to the Duke's talents. How did your talks with Prince Fazil go? I hope you followed your orders to the level, uh, to the letter. Affirmative. Good. Our next target is the city of Ur. We'll join Skobelev's squadron. Commander of the second squadron, expeditionary fleet. Ur, second, da 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 da. All right, we go places and we kill people. You've proven your metal, Grand Duke. I will entrust you with a mission to seize Ur by force. Isn't that the, the whole thing we're going for here? The cruiser, Diana, and several Intrepid-class frigates will be transferred to your command. Thank you for your confidence, Admiral. I shall not detain you any longer. Good. I get a replacement ship. I get a whole bunch of replacement ships. Maybe those ones that we had before were your tutorial ships that you could happily crash and burn because in the end... You get some new toys to play with. Or maybe not. It's not replacing, it's adding to what I have. Probably adding to the bane of my fuel funds. I think I've blown three quarters of my funds already. Okay, well then, let's uh, pass time, get repaired, and... Oh! Tarkan, sir, we've intercepted a radio transmission. Pick up the phone quickly. Choose the bad. What bad? I don't know. Uh, any of them? This one? Turn the knob. Oh, there's a there's a signal. Or do you want more of a signal? There you go. Now we have the signal. You need to determine their bit. They're bearing. Turn the antenna knob. Find the strongest signal. And then save it. Transmission from the enemy strike group and it's uncoded. Now we know their bearing and destination. Okay. Strike groups are powerful enemy ship formations that hunt you. Me? The best course of action is to avoid them at all times. Where are they going? How am I meant to know where they're going? Arrival in nine hours, speed 150, heading southeast. My route, Kushan. Well, I guess Kushan? Excellent, we'll outmaneuver them. Now Duke, take the ships to Ur by way of Hamat. Well, I'm busy repairing and refueling here for the next half a day, so that's someone else's problem. I can see all the red bits fade away on my injured craft as it gets repaired. Now, where was I heading again? We said we'd outmaneuver somebody, didn't we? But I'll be honest, I can't remember what or where or why. Hmm. Actually, I have no idea what we're doing here. Probably going to go to Hamat. Evade the enemy strike group. Ah, now nah, let's just fly right into them. Oh wait, no, I was meant to be going to Ur, wasn't I? Right, so what I would do is go this way, and then they won't be able to get me. Alright, on we go. No striking for me. Are we moving here? Yeah, there we go. Unidentified ship, CQ, okay. Well, good for them. Mm. 
Elint Danger. What is Elint? Talking about Attention, new target on the radar. Oh well, in for a penny. Hey, there's our friend. Why does it do that? Why why when I zoomed in there did it suddenly shoot me over there? Okay. Let's have our fight. <laughs> what? Let's have this big beefy one operational then. I'm sure this is acquired taste. Auxiliary artillery, in addition to its primary cannon, we have an auxiliary cannon. Auxiliary weapons to eliminate fast, agile targets in close range and destroy enemy missiles. Fire your auxiliary weapon, press right mouse button. I'd rather just fire my great big cannon-y thing. Oh, wow! Okay, I want to get close to this guy and hit him with ease. Air-to-air -air missiles, AAM. Press C to launch one. Alright. Good lord, how are they still standing? Hold on, am I the one that's no longer standing? Well, that's a bad sign. I feel like I'm playing a fever dream. There we go, get smug, get snug, and just shoot at them from within. They won't see it coming. It's okay. We've got them right where we want them. Oh, I have a feeling nothing of mine is going to be operating for a wee while now. Perhaps we should hit up that retreat order. Oh, I can't even move. All right, what was uh, what was it? T to get my people out of there alive, or was it F? Point. Yeah, we'll be saving good money on that fuel. Oh, good lord, it's just making mincemeat out of me. Maybe it's being clever and staying hidden in those clouds so it's hard for me to see them. Get it under control. I just crash into them then. Something's gotta take him down. Well, that's not all we're losing here.
Holy smokes, how is this thing still kicking? There we go. <laughs> I'm not sure I'd really call that a victory. Well, the enemy died and we did not. Ramming order. Oh, maybe they're not very happy because I gave a ramming order. I don't recall doing that. We did what we had to do. Now let's go over to uh, Kushan and go. We need to make sure the enemy strike groups never learns of our movements. We must keep our location safe. We must destroy the garrison in Kushan before they can sound the alarm. The cruiser is too slow. It's unsuitable for a surprise attack. We need to form a group of our fast ships and use them to attack the enemy. <laughs> Freaking pointy finger again. Chance that sudden strike will succeed with the current group. Uh, fastest thing based on their speed stat. Well, that looks like the, the this thing. Add more ships to the strike group. Well, uh, they're all a bit banged up, really, but there you go. Send it to Kushan. Alright, get on with it. Bring him down. Jake, you destroyed everything except the important parts. That sounds about right. Alright, so in goes the ship. Prize ship transport. Transport ships will surrender if you destroy the escort. Try not to damage it. It can be sold. Sure. Once again, let's send in one ship. I, I think my ship is still a bit banged up from the previous engagement. Again, I'm a hard time dodging that. <laughs> a very hard time dodging that. Did you get it under control or what? Also, is that my enemy going down? That sounds good to me. In that case, your net. Hey, my. I don't appear to be able to shoot anymore. I think my. Uh... I think something of mine is gone. Perhaps I should retreat and get somebody else in. Alright, come on, fresher, better ship. Get right up there and... Kablamo. Hmm. Seems more effective if you aim your shots to actually land, instead of just firing blindly. Get the hell out of here. Wait, I lost crew there? Nonsense. It's a pretty flawless victory. Alright, it appears we don't have enough fuel. We'll have to return to the city and purchase fuel there. Okay. You know, I picked up and gave Star Sector a go, Naffle, and I, I really feel like I was missold in that game. I mean, I, I was saying I want more of uh, Endless Sky, but better, and I was not getting that. I was playing through the tutorial, and uh, I had like, three fights and zero trading, and I really did not enjoy the fighting. Hard landing? Excellent. Right, let's get you repaired up. <laughs> 38.9 hours? That doesn't sound good. Oh well, got some supplies for me while we're at it. That's right, I needed fuel, didn't I? There we go. Again, what is with this bizarre UI? It's hard to know if I'm even actually buying that fuel.
Got off the line with the squadron. What's going on? Not much. Situation is grim. Rebels are firmly entrenched in the ridge. It'll be a long while before the crew can drive them out. Should probably ask the Admiral about that. Duke? Riot danger. Riot danger. What, can we get these guys over here or what? Ah, I assume we're bringing the fuel back here to fuel everything up and that way we can get over to... Oh, we are over here. Well, let's get repaired up. Hopefully the time spent relaxing here will get rid of that riot danger. But I still need more fuel to get to Ur, don't I? We wouldn't have enough fuel. Return. Yes, yes, yes. There we go. Did we buy that fuel? We did not buy that fuel. How the hell does this supply interface work? Drag the slider to buy fuel. Okay. Buy that fuel. Sounds like we bought the fuel. I don't think we bought the fuel. Can really check my money to see if that's working. Ah, that's right, we did buy it. We're just waiting to actually fill up our tanks. There we go. Ah, morale is uh, repairing itself as we rest here as well. Good for the men. But more than anything, good for me. Alright, no one knows what might be waiting for us, Duke. I sh should the going get tough? I ask. I ask that you request reinforcements from the Admiral. Rest assured I would never put my man at risk just to save face. <laughs> never, ever. <laughs> should you require reinforcements, use the internal comms to contact the Admiral. Ask for reinforcements, ask for funds. You know, I could do with some money at this point. Yes, Duke, I'd like to ask for a loan. War is expensive, is it not? Alas, it certainly is. Very well. Ah. Ah! What a good friend! Alright, so we're meant to be taking this whole place over. I'm not sure if all my ships are good and ready for this, but they're gonna have to try anyway. Attack vulnerable sites, the fuel system, that I don't know how you'd be able to consider any of this during the heat of battle, but sure. Destroy engines, blow up generators, da -da -da, just shoot everything is what I'm seeing there. Now this ship, wait we have this back? I thought we destroyed this ship. Seems muckle unwieldy, let's get the wanderer in on this. Oh hold on, there's a lot of them here. Been shot at from somewhere, probably there. Ah, there we go. Watch the fireworks. Hang on, is it still. Oh, jeez, they're all after me here. deal with it. You'll be fine. Just get out of here and we'll be fine. Get into retreat zone. There we go. Oh Jesus, this big slow thing. I don't think it's going to last very long here. Oh, 
my days, I don't know how anyone's meant to make anything out here. At least it's not raining anymore. <laughs> ship's not going anywhere. It's very, very slow. Well, maybe I could put in the afterburners, but... Then I think we're just... Speeding up our demise here. sure we'll get up to get out of here. Ooh. <laughs> Immediately just getting shot to shreds as we come in here. Oh man, that's that's not one that's going well for me. I already can't seem to be firing back. Sure, pressing B is doing anything. Where's that fire suppression system of mine? Or do you have to mash B or hold B? To use B while you have charges left. Charges? Uh, well, maybe those show up somewhere, but I don't know where. Oh, my. this is horrible. I, I'm not sure I have any control to get this thing out of here. It's just falling. This is, this is, dare I say, even worse than playing Ace Combat. Oh, man. Ah, get in there again, Wanderer. You know, Parappa, I'm, I'm on your side for that one. Anyone voting for this deserves a punishment of their own. What the hell is this? They just flashing lights, pulsating sounds, throwing yourselves in one against many for these fights. I'm going to need to reread the description for this one in the long playlist. Alright, I wonder if I can get that reinforcement from the, uh, from the Admiral here. Feels like I might need it. Carrot Smuggler says this is what I wasted all my points on, good god. Ah, I'm sure it's a lot better in competent hands, but this is not my kind of game for displaying competence yet. Uh, 
Ah, I see. There's a second wee arrow that follows my mouse cursor, and that's the actual way that I'm firing. Ah. Did I actually kill it? No, I guess I did. Alright, perhaps, mayhaps, we should get out of here. Oh, well, that's one way out of here. Nice to get shot by something off screen on top of that. Get out of here. Doesn't matter, just get out of here. Did the retreat area change? Alright, back in with someone else. <laughs> Immediately getting shot at. This is all Bane Williams' fault, to be honest, says Jagger. I need you to elaborate on that. And trust me, I am first in line to blame the Australians. Put out the fires then. Okay, my gun is no longer really turning around there. Maybe it is. Come on. Oh no, oh no. Get out. Oh no, not this. This thing barely levitates, doesn't really fly. Oh my god, whose idea of fun is this? There's all these different things flashing at you and asking for your attention, that is... Oh. Wait, maybe you can press space and pause. No, no you cannot. Okay, we made it. It only cost um, 168 lives, but we made it. We have captured Ur. <sighs> so many excuses for why High Fleet won the vote. Shake my head, the weebs were right. The weebs were absolutely right. Hey, can I win something? Select your promotion. Guns recharge faster, crew have been forged in the heat of battle and are thus more resilient. Ship's cruising range has increased faster firing. Wait, didn't Jagger vote for this one? I think he did. All Jagger's fault, you say? Alright, well we captured Ur. Hopefully the commanding officer is proud of us and... Uh, Gives us some shore leave, like a lot of shore leave. I don't think I can even fit this thing inside the 63 repair zone. Oh boy! Oh jeez, how are we meant to... There you go, touchdown. It's okay, put it out. Let's let's try that landing again.
This is something, all right. They refit the Titanic for this. So, Jake, you won the weekly one-shot this week, but everyone decided to vote for a punishment game for your long play. There's no avoiding the punishment. <laughs> so it seems. What did I do to deserve this? There you go. Well, at least it didn't explode this time. <laughs> Good work. By who? Okay, as we entered the city of Ur, a large crowd of people welcomed us as heroes with cries of joy. Hopefully they didn't watch the other two landings. Congratulations, Duke. What a glorious victory. Well done. Now all the naysayers will have no choice but to shut their mouths. Even Dowd will rejoice in today's success. Shall I report? Certainly. This was the moment when we realized that the hearts of the people of Jarat were on our side. What a beautiful day. We celebrated our victory in the present without a care in the world for what lay ahead of us. Well, there we go. Managed to beat the game in a uh, solid one hour. Hmm. Everything else is just epilogue, right? Order of High Command, remain in Ur, await further instructions, have been ordered to return to our point of origin, no explanation provided, nor will be asked for. Morning of the sixth day, observation station, large vessel from the south, all forces on high alert. It was a lone ship approaching slowly, showing no signs of aggression. Hope began to spread, perhaps it was one of the vessels, got close enough we recognized it, Imperial Cruiser. Staggeringly gigantic flying mountain, honor guard, prepared to meet. The first man to step down was Elaim, wearing a gold mask. Endless crowd of people with terrible burns and gruesome wounds. Ah, war heroes. The capital of the Empire suffered a nuclear strike four days ago. Stronghold burned down in an instant, reduced to smoldering desert radioactive waste. Oh, that doesn't sound good for them. Fortunately, we're not there, nor are we them. We were at a loss for words, we didn't know what to do. Most of us wanted to head to the capital and join the battle, knowing that the war was already as good as lost. Gentlemen, I've assembled you here to discuss our future activities in light of the most recent events. My opinion is this, we must press on and continue our advance towards Q. Well, that's just your opinion, isn't it? I'm in command here. News from the capital is render this entire operation moot. We must return to the motherland at once. The sooner the better. On the contrary, taking Kiva is more important than ever. If you would allow me to elucidate. I've had several lengthy conversations with the crew. It pains me to say this. I'm convinced the war in the south is lost. Returning to the motherland will spell certain doom for us. We all had similar suspicions. Now those fears to be put into words, many of the officers averted their gaze. What do you propose? Rebel fleet is currently engaged in heavy combat in the south. Had time to mount an offensive in the north. Take Kiva by force. What comes next? Believe the inevitable. They will come to Kiva. Uh, our intel. Da da da. Seize the reactor. They won't fight back. Come to the bargaining table. To ensure the reactor is intact. Perhaps we might be able to strike a deal. Vessel, re-establish, reliable line to the south. There's no time, Sharif. We must assault Kiva here and now or it will be too late. We agreed to send the cruiser to the south. Assault Kiva. Sevastopol, flagship of the new squadron. At some point the officer asked. Da -da 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 -da. No one yet knows what's befallen the Empire, so Grand Duke so legitimate. Da -da 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 -da. Dowd balked at the idea, his furious cries of protest were ignored, the officers eagerly supported the general's suggestion, even though the heir to the throne, leading the charge himself. Mm, wonders for the morale, well the morale of my breaking units here. The moment I had Tarkan is now embodiment of the entire Romani Empire in their eyes. 
And we get some more broken accordion playing. Well guys, what the hell do we do now? I have no intention of playing this game at all anymore. What a heap of ass this has been. I mean, I get that this must be the kind of game for some people. I am not one of those some people. Edry suggests that we play the Weeb game instead, like God intended. True Cult suggests it's time for They Are Billions. Time to set up the Ama Yui censorship patch. Ah, oh, jeez. Okay, well the only thing that's for certain is that we're not going on with this. What a miserable experience playing this has been. And yeah, I'm pretty bad at this kind of game, but it's so much of what I don't like. All these things beeping and flashing at you. It reminds me a lot of Gordon Ramsay's Kitchen Nightmare, a very different game, but with very similar irks for me. It's time to skip the piss poor hentai and go for the Pokemons instead. Ah, uh, well, I know what I want to do. I need to cleanse this taste out of my mouth. I will, I will set something else up straight away. I was actually gifted this game by somebody who said, maybe if you have it, you'll be more likely to play it. Oh. Oh, Jinx. Well, they weren't wrong. Jagger's lamenting that he put 120,000 points into this. Uh, well, there are some nice things to say about this game. The music's a banger, for one. But they certainly went really hard with their style. And if you're the kind of person that likes that, great. I don't. I really don't. All the smoke and dust and dithering and rainfall getting in the way of actually playing the game? No thank you. There's a reason I don't play much DDR with sudden or stealth mode on. Ah, it's such a sad thing that tabbing out of the game actually gets rid of the, uh, the knee slapping music there. Alright, let, let me play literally anything else right now. Well, no, not literally anything. There are there are worse experiences in playing High Fleet. There just aren't many of them. Ah, there we go. I can feel the healing already. Let's just see if I can bring it up. After a game that's really, really terrible, it feels so good to play a game that you just know you like so much. And that's exactly what's going to happen here. No, no, it's not Draken, that would be a bit too cliché. Alright, let's just... Adjust this for a moment. How high does it go? Oh, it goes all the way up to the top, almost. Yeah, good enough. Is it actually working out right? Obviously did not have this prepared in advance. Is, that, is the game's music going to come back? Yeah, yes it is. Okay, let's Alt F4 that away. 
and wonder if this will accept input. Ah, looks like it does. Ah. I play a short bit of Pilot Wings just to rinse that game out of my mouth. I'll desperately need to figure out what to do tomorrow then. Well, we'll get the wild card if nothing else. Stream title, Jake? Um. There we go. Hopefully that's an apt adjustment to it. Ah, there we go. Alright, let, let's play some of this. Let's join the Flight Cup now. Did you ever dream of flying? Well, I did until about an hour twenty ago. Hello, Tony. I believe this is a launch title in the Super Nintendo. Absolute blast from my childhood. Tomorrow you'll have so much fun with Football Manager, you'll just continue playing it into the night. So, I, part of me thinks maybe I should give every long play option a quick test on stream before putting up to vote. But I did that with War of the Overworld, and that game still... Well, actually, the game was good. The campaign was just beyond terrible. Well, I'll have to have a good long think about how I handle that going forward. Right, so, Pilot Wings. Super Nintendo game all about um, flying biplanes, riding jetpacks, falling out of planes in a parachute, and hand gliding with a little bit of military helicopter mixed in. Starts off real nice and simple. Nobody could mess this up. It's just teaching you the very basics about landing a plane and then landing a parachute. And, oh yeah, th this game takes me back so much. I remember going over to my good friend's house, playing a bunch of this, see, uh, seeing if we could make our way through it. Come down, make an easy landing. Drop that throttle all the way down to nothing and get a good landing. Uh, see, Fusion, I've got to figure that out later. I mean, we just had a vote to kick it down the curb. Seems all sorts of wrong, but, you know, people voted for first place to get rid of second place, so it doesn't make sense to just go to second place. I'll think about it. Yeah, democracy, complete mistake, Nix. Then again, lack of democracy was also a mistake before that. So, it's not just landing planes, it's going down in parachutes, so up we come. And you can skip all that, thank goodness, imagine having to wait all the 3,800 feet that you ascend. Fall through the rings and land on the target, and you're as good as gold. If you land on the moving target, you get a bonus stage. It's very easy to waste those, and it's very easy to miss those. So I don't think I'll go for that. It's best done with either the hand glider or the jetpack anyway. So open it about 500 feet, drop down to quite a lot of not much feet, and then just aim for right in the middle. Great landing. Oh, cabin fund, it was so bad. It was so horrible. There we go. Perfect score. 200. Although it could be perfecter. On the contrary, Jake, says Edry, given how absolutely wrong the people who voted for the winner was, it makes sense to invalidate their opinion and go for number two. Invalidate, eh? Hmm. Hey, Jagger, you voted, uh... You might have even been the one that voted most for High Fleet. I'm trying to remember. I can always check the vote. Actually, do I still have those numbers? There should be a poll thing here, view results. Who voted for High Fleet the most? No, Jagger was only number three. It was actually Mort and Tarther who voted more than Jagger on that. <laughs> we see Maximilian with 600,000 on, not Kamidori. Regardless, as the third, third place in that. Ah, how do you feel? Right, so uh, let's start off with the light plane. I find the light plane to be the most enjoyable out of all of them. This is interesting because it already starts you in the air. And uh, it's not just a straight line to the runway this time. Have you thought about letting people earn points by betting on the long play vote result? Betting only allows you to choose two options for betting, not three. So it would be... would be weird. 
Alright, we'll go for the more difficult, narrower runway that's a bit further away. Turn around, try to get a straight on run for it. Really kill the throttle as you come on in. Oh, that is good. Oh, high, high fleet's pretty much a punishment. There we go. I don't know why my accuracy was so low on that. Looks pretty damn good to me, surely. But she is saying that my skill is improving. Great work. Keep it up. Oh, I will, surely. Let's keep going. Uh, rocket belt tends to be the easiest, so let's go skydiving. I feel, I feel bad about canning that one, honestly, because I just canned another one. I really hate canning my long plays, but it's uh, certainly better than only sticking through it longer, only to potentially can it later. I don't count Oni as uh, packed in, because I went all the way to building that rocket, even though I really couldn't stand that freaking game. Oh, we don't speak of Space Colony. That doesn't exist. Space Colony was just um, a disguise for Stronghold Crusader. Oh, should we try? Should we try? Should we try? We're gonna try! <laughs> I didn't realize that was possible. Well, we landed on it, but immediately took the splash. You were close, but look at you! You're soaked! Well, since we only have 100 points and we need 120 to qualify, Shirley might be right, we might not be certified. But we're gonna keep going anyway. Come on, Rocket Belt. Yeah, how delightfully rude. Now, of all the people I've been seeing playing Pilot Wings, I'm shocked that nobody tried this. But you see those little... Little white circle -y things on the ground. You can give them a wee pop and you bounce up. Oddly destroying them beneath you. I always thought that was neat, but I find it bizarre that nobody else tried that. Now there's a bonus for the light uh, for for the hang glider and the jetpack and the uh, skydiving, but there isn't one for the light plane. I tried everything to try and get one for the light plane. See these little side, side roady bits? I tried landing on those for the light plane. Game was having none of it. Right, I'm not feeling confident about landing this, but on its way back, I'll have it for sure. So on you go forward, and just wait till you come back. You'll be as good as mine. There's not much wind in this one. I'm not even sure if there's any wind in this. Great landing. So that gets you 100 points plus whatever you get from the bonus chance. And hopefully I don't just immediately go into the soup with this one. I've been seeing plenty of people do that. You can go forward and left and right, but back won't bring you back. It'll just slow you down. And if you land this just right... You can get both. I sadly, though, did not. 10, 20, 25. And let's go! Whee! We want that 30 over there. We're gonna style all over Shirley, who thought we couldn't make it. Not sure if I've got the forward momentum. Okay, now I feel like I've got too much of it. Right in the middle. So there we go. 155%. There we go. So despite taking the skydiving for a scuba diving kit, we managed to pass. Yeah, we're still soaked, though. Ah, oh, th this is good. I mean, I've got so many games under my belt that it I always know, like, the fast food version of game to pull out and enjoy after a particularly awful other game. 
Land. Yeah, thanks for that, Lance. A lot of people don't like old Lancey boy here. Right, we're going to start out with the hand glider, actually, because it's the easiest one to have everything go wrong with. Now, the real question is, do I go for the target, or do I go for the bonus? The bonus is actually easier on Weird Al's level. So I think I will go for uh, just the target this time. The hand glider levels were the bane of childhood Jake. I just didn't understand it. You, you tap A to flare, and I thought, ooh, if I keep flaring, I'll get height. But no, flaring gives you a bit of initial height and then a very hefty drop. So you actually don't want to do that. Right, up's a daisy. Whee! There's our 500 feet, and that's the objective. Soar to 500 feet and then land. Over on the left there is the target. It can look really difficult to get to. And flaring makes you drop way too fast. Whoa, look at us go. It can be very, very difficult. I, I bear no ill will towards people that have a hard time with hand glider. It is hard. I, even I just cannot get this thing in the center to save my life. Good enough, though. Oh, he's getting all teary-eyed. Oh, that's just great. His eyes actually start rolling around if you score a cool 100. I don't think I'll be scoring a cool 100. Right, let's go with the light plane. Timbuks 2 is a blast from the past here. Ah, oh, the, the greatest thing I ever see anybody do when they play Pilot Wings is they do this, they try to take off, and they don't take off, and they break their wheels on the end of the runway and splash into the water. Oh, it's just... warms my cockles, it does. So yeah, now, now we've actually got to take off, fly through the rings, which I think go 180 degrees around the whole thing. And then land once more. Maybe it's 270? I don't know. Maybe somebody who pays a lot more attention than me can tell. It's been great fun watching other people play Pilot Wings, but I think that's a general thing. It, it feels really good to watch somebody else play a game from your childhood. In my experience, even if they hate it, I find it to be, oh, just so enjoyable. Because you can laugh and go, yeah, that is a pretty terrible aspect of the game, but I love it regardless. And there's plenty of terrible aspects about this game. It's so antiquated, so old. For example, like the whole background's just gone. You're not really flying through anything here, but... That's okay. I understand pilot wings. Right, let's build up some speed, because we're going to need it. Surge up and don't stall. This is a tricky one to get to. Here we go. Hard to tell which was coming sooner, the orange or the green there. Now you got to get through these while still straightening out your plane, because we have a runway to land on. I do not have the brass to go flying myself. I think I, I would... Uh, I would not enjoy flying. Probably way too stressful for me. I'd like to do something like um, skydiving, though. That sounds like a lot of fun. Alright, now drop the freaking speed. I, I don't know why people kept feeling the need to run into the, um, onto the runway at 45 degrees at full speed. Like, engage ramming speed with the ground. Why? Just why? Would you ever do trucking in real life? I don't know. Do not know. I haven't really thought about it. Very nice. Damn right it's very nice. My angle's a bit off. I still don't really understand the accuracy on landing the plane. Ah, shut your mouth, Lance. It's rocket belt. The easiest one. We're not going to mess it up. Where can you see your angle? Uh, you don't see it. You just 
look at how you're approaching the runway. Like, I must have approached the runway there at 5, maybe 10 degrees. And, uh, you... You would go, oh, it's runway time. Time to bring the nose to the ground. Plus, Baron, isn't this cheating for you? James, people tell me not to look when they're streaming games they want to put forward for my challenge, but you're boning up on your pilot wings. You've still got four hours of that left. Ian Baron's watching and making notes. Someday we'll find a game Baron's good at. Well, he's pretty good at Xenonauts now. That's what I'd like to say, but he still just doesn't bloody crouch. No sense risking it on the small target. We only need 40-something points, not the full 100. But part of me does want to see his eyes rolling around. It's a bit windy, though. That's a risky target to go for. I was a little bit outside, that won't be the full 100. Nobody wants to cry. Don't land in the water, check. There we go, 368 points, silver license is ours. Alright, Big Al's my name, and reviewing your past lessons is my game. He'll help us perfect the skills necessary for us to earn certification. Why, well, thanks, Al. I'd like to get 100 points in something here, because looking at Big Al, Cry is pretty good. Rocket Belt would be my best bet for that. Maybe skydiving. I'm going to start with hand gliding again. Um, it's, on, it's the hardest, but I want to go for the bonus stage here. But there's a good chance I'll end up in the soup instead, which you know won't be good for me. Oh, right, right, Christ, I need to, I need to go through the... Um, through the ring, through the ring. Another difficult thing to do. How many hours in Xenonauts now, Baron? I tried and tried, and I'm pretty sure Childhood Jake found a way to get through that ring twice without needing some altitude, but altitude I will need. Up a daisy. And then make the turn. Make the turn too early can make this approach pretty difficult. Now, this is all for Cannot if we stay stick the landing. Wait, is sticking a landing good or bad? I forget. Well, it matters not. We gotta land. And there's a perfectly good target available, but I'm gonna go for the bonus target. Which is that little cross in the water. And yeah, that it, it's just as unpleasant to aim for as it sounds. Coming in low, I think is the best way. Coming in straight is even better. That's good, that's good, that's good. Don't smudge the finish, you always land longer than it seems. Oh my god, that was perfect! Well, I guess we really did stick the landing then. Alright, repeatedly press the A button. I don't actually understand how this one works. Are you meant to keep mashing forever? Or are you meant to, like, just let it glide? I don't know. Well, it keeps telling me to keep mashing, so mash I shall. <sighs> Bring on that RSI. No one's gonna live forever. Come on, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40. Yeah. Don't know what the best you can do in that. Maybe someone with a turbo controller can find out someday. <laughs> you lucky dog. Be proud. You have done very well. Yeah, I've cheated my way to glory, Al. How does it feel? Uh, let's do the light plane, because I'll probably get the fewest points on those. Oh, no, no. I was... I was... N I knew what track and field was about, and I didn't want anything to do with it. After a day of gaming, Jake comes out of it with shin splints and RSI. <laughs> oh, yeah, Krivens. I, I haven't been that injured from DDR in a long, long time. 
Well, maybe injured's not the right word, but uh, the moment I got in that dance mat today, I knew something wasn't right. I mean, sure, the songs were difficult, paranoia, respect, coming along early to whip me rotten and having a double dose of waka laka but uh, my, my body was just not right for that. Whoa, whoa, going in a bit lower than I thought here. Uh, is it just that one? Do we have to do this twice? I, I should have listened to the briefing for this. It's been quite a while since I played Pilot Wings. I played it for the weekly one-shot, but I played it in a very weird way back then. Oh, that was it? Okay. Weird Owl's Landing. Uh, Big Owl's Landing is one of the more difficult ones to do. You need a really long approach for it. Oh yeah, pizza. The DDR went awful. Yeah, that should be enough. If you fly too far out, it actually says you are out of bounds now and then instantly fails you, which is obviously not very fun for you. Alright, that's an indication of our approach. Slow it down. Try to angle this up. There is wind as well. Easy to forget that there is wind hitting you here, so even if you have a straight approach, it will go not straight, so you got to be ready to adjust. Now look, the, the, the lights are guiding you in at a good angle, so you don't just smash into the runway. There we go. Hmm, you did well. Damn right I did. You can do even better. Shut your mouth, Al. 75 points. Right, let's try and not get the full amount on um, skydiving so we can actually still do the rocket belt. Let's see. Ignore the rings entirely and we should be okay then. Eh, nah, I played a win. Uh, I want to do rocket belt. Alright, ignore the rings. No, no, don't throw it. Hit up those rings. If I'm too good, then so be it. God, I imagine that'd be so much fun to do in real life. Layering and building up a lot of speed towards the ground is fine as long as you, as long as you let it bounce out. Oh, oh damn right, that's a great landing. What do you think of that, Al? You seem to be a natural at this. Yeah, if I was just a few inches forward, though, he'd be crying. He doesn't even let me play around with the rocket belt, but he does point out that we did magnificently. Still Stranded says, one of my memories as a kid was playing Pilot Wing 64 and firing the guy into Mount Rushmore repeatedly like a maniac. Never got to play the original Pilot Wings. Well, conversely, I never played Pilot Wing 64. I would have played it if it was available, but I don't ever recall seeing it in the shops. Was it even out in the PAL region? Oh yeah, Baron, if you're still here, you definitely need to get out. Don't spoil yourself on this. Right, we are the only Flight Club member whose rating is near what's required for operation of the rescue helicopter. I just came here to get my pilot wings, not to go and pilot his military operation. Never played it, Bane. Don't be such a coward. Now, I ask you again. No, you should go. I'm licensed for motorcycles, not helicopters. I forgot. Chickens cannot fly. Alright, alright, let's go. Now, whilst I am clearly very good at um, landing a plane, landing from skydiving, landing a rocket belt and hang gliding, I am terrible at the helicopter segment. It's too stressful for me. Way too stressful for me, but we'll do it anyway. 
Still Strand says it was definitely available in PAL. I played it here in Oz. Now why in God's name was Oz part of the PAL region? Well, I guess if you were part of the JP region, you would have gotten it in Japanese, which wouldn't be so good, and... Well, well why not get the NTSC version? Right, so at least this one you have a lot more control than you do in all the other ones. I can go left, you can go right, back and forward, although it's a little slow to react. And of course, unlimited ammunition. You can go full on... What was the game called? Gulf, Desert, Gulf, Desert, something or other. Desert Strike. Unfortunately, this desert strikes back. And it's not even a desert. And that is what I find so stressful about the Look, there it is. Oh my goodness, they just hone right in on you and slap you out the sky. So you gotta take them out and have none of their nonsense. Now, way back when, I had a wheel of one-shots where I had to complete a bunch of challenges submitted by people. Lucky 1X submitted some challenges, and one of them was to do the harder version of this in one shot. And fortunately for me, I didn't roll it. Well, uh, Lucky did this because he decided, after a while, to do his own challenges. Maybe he wanted to set me straight or something, you know what he's like. And he failed every last one of them, but none of them was more satisfying for me to watch than him failing at this. And as he was being shot out the sky, he said, Oh god, now Jake's gonna... Yeah, I can't believe I got shot. Oh man, is there anything better in life than the misery of Canadians? Maybe there is, I just sure don't know what it is. Jeez, that is too stressful for me. I do not like it. Oh, and there's more! I just joined so I could fly a biplane, not a military chopper! Oh, that was a f swing and a miss. I've often thought, why don't you just take the low approach here, like go in so low that they won't be able to shoot you. Must be some reason not to do that. Anyway, that's good enough. There are a lot more shooters on the other side, but forget that. I'll just take it, uh, take it slow, dip it down low, move it all around, shake it back, and I don't know the rest of the song. Easy there, I'm not here to get more altitude or else I get shot by the things on the other side. Just very calmly bring us in for the landing here. A bit insane that I'm not only managing the chopper, but I'm also managing the guns for the chopper. Seems a bit uh a bit intense for a guy who's fresh in pilot school. All right, right on that heliport. Whoa now, whoa now. Whew. There we go. That was very nearly in the soup. Hmm, <laughs> the misery of Canadians tastes like maple syrup, says Nix. I don't think we have any maple syrup on the DDR calorie counter, though. Just poutine. We're taking off here a bit gung-ho. I didn't clear all the guns here. I wonder if you... If you mod in a gun right there, can you get shot in that ending part? Be quite interesting. Hmm. So, despite taking care of that, they still only give me the silver pilot wings. I want the platinum pilot wings for that. And if there's a metal even rarer than platinum, I want that too. So, that clears the tutorial of the game. Good for us. Now you play the real game. This time, we will practice the skills that you learned in your tutorial lessons. However, this time, you must try flying in some cold winter weather. Very well, let's do it. Also, I need like 15% uh, more points to pass than before, too. 
do the light plane. Ah, I kind of wish I'd taken the... Oh, no, I don't want to do light plane now. Um, you know what? I really don't want to do light plane. We haven't seen any failures, so let's have one. What's it like to fail, you might reasonably ask? Well, let's show it off. Looks like this. I want a rhodium pilot wings. That sounds good. It was pretty tough, wasn't it? Mm, no, Tony. It really wasn't. Right. Certification still might not be easy, apparently. Let's try it anyway. I still think that skydiving image looks like Marge Simpson, though. With the big hair. Landing on the moving target with skydiving is definitely my weakest part, so there's a reasonable chance this is going to go poorly. But I wanted to do it first so that if it does go poorly, I can just restart instead of doing the light plane for no no good reason. Yeah, we could have exploded the, the plane if we'd done it even faster, that much is true. I watched the tool assisted speedrun of this, it is amazing. Like they they don't care at all, they just go right in for the kill. Right in for the kill. Great landing. They, they just go down and break their spine on the landing, but they land perfectly on the bonus chance. Uh-oh. Oh, man, if I don't get in the center here, it's all for Canot, and it's not easy to do it with this thing. You just don't know where it's going to go. I don't know where it's going to go. Get me that 50. Oh. Baron got this once, and it was the funniest freaking thing I've seen to do with pilot wings. If anybody has that clip, please, please share it for all to see. So even though we crashed the plane in our pilot lesson, we still get more than enough to qualify. Let's go. Quit sandbagging it up. Hey, Laika. There's no sandbagging here at all. I have done perfectly in everything so far. Which is going to make it all the more pressureful when it comes to a comes to a complete halt, because some of these do get really difficult. Right, light plane first. <laughs> Top instructor in this flight school is only qualified to ride motorbikes. Yeah, as long as this isn't high fleet, we're all good. Now there we go, yeah, democracy is not always the best way. I still insist that we do them democratically because... What, we've had quite a lot of long plays now, 35 or so? And that means we've only had a few stinkers out of them. It just feels bad because we've had two stinkers in a row. And boy were they stinkers. This wind has put me off course a bit, try to correct for it. Well, that's true, true cult, but let's not get into semantics. Uh, okay, Shirley, uh, shut your trap for just a moment here. I, I need to watch. I need to watch uh, this brilliant moment myself. You can watch along too. You should. What, what, what is this? <laughs> oh my god, you can lead a horse to water. Okay, that was wonderful. Just what I need to get back into this. Did you dislike that Dungeon Keeper clone as well, Jake? I thought you were having decent fun. Uh, I certainly was when I first tried it out, but the campaign is so unenjoyable. So very unenjoyable. I feel like they just missed the point entirely about why anyone would want to play those kinds of games. Now, maybe the rest of the game is fine, but I was there to clear the tutorial. Uh, not the tutorial, the campaign, and it, it didn't want me to clear it. There was no fun allowed there. 
Oh no, oh dear. Well, there goes my perfection. We are way off with these. Shouldn't have been spinning around. Well, when you mess up that badly, you can always unmess it up by landing on the moving target and getting the bonus, but now forget that. I'm going straight for the 70. Not going to chance it. Going for the bonus. Oh my god, it's, it's coming right towards me as if to say, please land on me, Jake. Oh no. Oh no. Shouldn't have stopped flaring. Look at you. You're soaked. How many points do we need? Oh, that's a lot of points. Oh, that is a whole lot of points. Okay, well, come on then. Do 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 do. This is highly unlikely to go my way. Might have to be a restart. Oh, Singus, High Fleet. I don't want to say it was a bad game. It's probably very good for a certain kind of person. But not me. Oh, it was so horrible for me. I had a very different game in my head. I didn't have like East, uh, Near Eastern Dating Simulator combined with... Uh, what was it kind of like? Um, Ro Robo... Robo something? There's a game, top-down, where you just shoot things in different direction and it all gets super hectic. Well, I can't remember the name of it, but it's what I was thinking of. Are we just gonna go for it? No, no, do not, do not. I was above the splash zone there. <laughs> Brigador, Togo, no, way, way older. Robotron, thank you. I'm still over the splash zone here. This is the wind blowing you around, you really gotta account for it. But there's no hurry. Well there is, there's a fuel gauge in the top. Right. But far better just to take it easy. Like I said, account for that wind. Into the splash zone we go. Can't sir, 90 points across three things, that's just barbaric. Alright, well, it gives us a chance to say hi to Shirley again. I think I was looking for more of a strategic element in High Fleet than what I was given there. Such a busy game, though. Oh well, could have been worse. I believe that was also submitted as a weekly one-shot. So imagine that, I could be eating a punishment for it as well. The weekly one punishment prevails. I don't know how you're meant to get 100 points on this thing, with the wind battling you about, uh, batting you about. Getting the full accuracy on the landing seems very difficult. Yeah, I could have gotten 150 from the rocket belt bonus, I'm confident in that. Did I get 84 last time? I think I did. You know what, shut your mouth, Shirley. I'm going to get that bonus stage with the rocket belt, and there's nothing you can do about it. <laughs> I think as a kid I said something similar to that effect. Started the rocket belt, I only tapped A to give a short burst. And that, get, that took me about one or two feet in the air, and then I immediately went into the water off of the starting point. It wasn't, wasn't a good moment, and it's etched in my memory forevermore. Come on, down we go. And no, I didn't play Pilot Wings 64. I'm sure I will someday. Just don't know what day that's going to be. It's also worth keeping in mind that I managed to break the A button on my Nintendo 64 controller. And then I tried to repair it and I just straight up ripped the silicon. 
I'm sure they sell replacement silicon parts for that, so I don't have to just replace the whole thing. But I have not looked into that yet. Maybe, just maybe, someday I will. Also, I feel like this is going to go the same way if I try to touch down. Oh, I could have been, I could have been okay, but let's not rush it. Rushing, rushing gets you in the splash zone. This might look really easy, but it's harder than it looks, just not by much. There we go. As soon as it says great landing, you're safe. You can even fall into the water afterwards. And the wind is still blowing you about when you're grounded. Pilot Wing 64 is a weekly one-shot. Well, if there's anybody in chat who really knows their Pilot Wing 64, I'd be totally up for that. But hopefully somebody else also knows their silicon repair for Nintendo 64 controllers. Because I need to do some of that. Now, you can get both of these if you really just... Ah, that's not it. Da, 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 da. Oh, this is not good for the points. Not good at all. Very bad for the points, even. I only got five on each of them. Do we have to just go straight for it? I think we do. Oh, this isn't looking good for the 30. It's not. No way in hell is that the 30. Chicken out in the 15. Would you be willing to do a 10 plus hour weekly one shot of it? I've done 10 plus hour weekly one shots before. Is it a game that's fun to play for 10 plus hours though? That's a, that's a different story. N64 games... Well, sometimes are. The longest stream I've ever done was a Nintendo 64 game. And not only that, old gods, but this is a release title. Games only got better from here. Although, well, no, that's 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 strictly not true. I played Kirby's Super Fun House. I learned much later in life that Kirby's Super Fun House was just a reskin of another awful game that came out for the... Um, well, some other console. And that's such a Krusty the Clown thing to do, isn't it? I did say Krusty the Clown, right? Sure. Um, yeah. And it's one of the worst games I've ever played. Yeah, there we go. Shut your mouth there, Shirley. I'm the top dog around here. I saved this freaking club! Lance here again. Well, hello again, Lance. Today you'll find that the wind is quite strong. Sure, that's good for hand gliding. Try not to be blown off course. Uh, that would make going for the hand glider bonus very difficult, so I'm certainly not going to do that. I will still do it first, though. It tells you where the wind is going, though. Northeast six and a half meters per second. That's pretty fast, I think. Well, a human could run faster. Any healthy human could run much faster. She's not used to you ending an examination dry. <laughs> Makes two of us. Oh, I remember trying to land in that little swimming pool you see in the bottom left there. I thought maybe there's some kind of secret bonus for, uh, for going there. No, there is not, unless the secret bonus is mission failed. So I forget what height you have to soar to, it's like 700 feet or something. You seem awfully confident in that vein. That's good, I like confidence. Can't stand people who can't make a decision. Alright, upsie daisy, let's hit that 700. Five, six, f oh boy, that was close. That was very nearly not what I needed. Now, to add insult injury, I'm right above the target, and that's no, not going to be any good for accuracy. So I'm actually going to go away from it, try to burn as much height as possible. You really fall like a stone in this way, but if you land like this, I mean, look at that, you're landing at like, what's that, 15 feet per second? 
That is shin breaking speeds. And I don't want my shins broken today. There we go. Let's just try and do a gradual decline. I think I've declined a little too fast. So let's try and repair that. Maintain what we have around 100 feet. Okay, that's good. That's, that's good, 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 good. It's still easy to overshoot this, though. So easy. There we go. Just waddle a little bit forward. Right into the center. He won't notice the difference. He wants to cry again because I'm so good. It seems so easy now, doesn't it? Well, in that case... Let's try the... Oof. Try the rocket belt. That target to land on for the bonus thing is minuscule. I hate going for the one on Lance's. But at least it goes in a figure of eight. Blown about by the wind here like nobody's business. Oh, this is great. The memories of High Fleet are already a distant past for me. Does anybody have the description handy for, for that again? The description that was in the long play submission form? Under what makes this a good idea for a long play? I don't want to lambast the submitter too hard here. But I, I, I'm curious to see what they saw in that. Again, could well be a good game, but for me, heavens no. Seems like a decent fit for your playstyle. Ample pausing. When it's time to go, everything can be put in the line. Lots of little systems to master and understand. Certainly a lot of nuisances in the game to master and understand. Do Whoa, no, 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 no. Oh, 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 I was losing my height way too fast there. I'm getting greedy. There's no good reason to go for this. I've got victory in the bag. If I just land on the targets, but I'm getting greedy for the and uh, getting too greedy. Stop, stop getting greedy. Just, just go for the sure thing. This feels like a clip waiting to happen where I say go for the sure thing and I just end up in the water. But no, that'll do. That was just great. So as long as I land the freaking plane. This one's done and dusted. I think you get 50 of the points just for flying through the hoops. Ah, there we go. Easy money. This is... <laughs> if you think this is a Nintendo 64 game, that's one hell of a slight against the N64. But no, this is a Super Nintendo game. A launch title, even. And that wind is taking me way off course for these, fortunately. All you need to do is clip these. Even just a little bit of your biplane and getting inside these rings is enough. Nice skybox there. I, I was thinking, I didn't want to say anything, but I was thinking when playing this man, I, I have this strange desire to play Draken. What could be causing it? And it's the skybox. Looks a lot like Draken's does. It's more pretty in this game, though. Nothing in Draken is pretty. Pilotwings 64 also a launch title. Well, what happened to the Pilotwings franchise, then? Did it get absorbed into, like, Wii Sports or something? I guess it would be hard to have a standalone Pilot Wings title with the existence of Wii Sports. Was it even Wii Sports? Was it Wii Wii Resort? That's it, Wii Resort. I didn't play it, but I certainly knew of it. The Wii was massive, you could not escape it. It's unbelievable what Nintendo did. Bringing video games to the casual audience like it's second nature to them. It's kind of incredible. And yet, for that, they just get hated upon by the hardcore crowd. Oh, that was close. Yeah, 
easy. Don't want to stall out here. Even more dangerous. I don't want to drink the soup as we go down to 75 feet. I'm going to start killing my throttle a bit though, because there's a lot of adjustment to be made to get on to the landing strip. Good old memories of Lucky just saying, I just gotta land the freaking plane. I wonder if he landed that plane. <laughs> I don't think I'll play Draken again, at least not today, Compal. I love me some Draken, but now's not the time. Damn right, that's very nice. There we go, Lancelot. Give me my certification. Again with the silver, though. Give me the gold. Oh, I stopped doing yearly turning my runs years ago. Time to review with Big Al. This lesson will be conducted at night. Use radar to lead your way. That's a lie. You would never do that. I really like this one. Looks like a toy. Anyone have those wee toys that were like vans that folded out into cities? No. How was that for peak childhood? Let's go for Hind Glider and if we mess it all up then we'll have a lot of clawing back to do. Fly through the ring twice. Very good. Battletech is on my weekly one-shot list. I'm waiting for it to go on sale, then I'll pick it up and run it. Yeah, Brute Queen put it on. And nepotism assures that that one's going to be ran. Is a tight circle for a hand glider. Right, it's at 300 feet, so where's this going to take us to? 500? 550? 2, 3, 4, 5, 37. Okay. Easy now, losing a lot of altitude too quickly there. That's Mech Warrior 5, not Battletech. Oh, it is? Okay. Well, the two became one in my head. Alright, let's goof it all up by going for the special landing. Oh, okay. Oh, oh, this is bad. This is so bad. I'm way off course for it. Alright. I don't even have a straight approach here, which is terror bad. It's going to minimize my chance of landing. Nope. Okay, well, there's a lot of clawing back to be done then. <laughs> you failed zero. <laughs> Completely lost my way, and that's why he says it's silly to go on even if we do better. Shut your mouth, Al. I'll show you what I'm made of. Alright, so we didn't even get to do Rocket Belt last time, but we have to land on Al's big bouncy balls. Be careful on getting underneath them, they will drag you down. Uh, yeah, that one just launched me right down there. You forfeit points if you land on the ground before you complete all the objectives. Whoa! <laughs> Nice try, Al. This kind of view can be helpful. There we go, go. Now for the intimidating part. That absolutely tiny moving platform. If I don't get a bonus stage, I have zero chance of clearing this. Big Al knows that, and so do I. What I also know is that that platform is ridiculously hard to hit. It's nighttime, it's windy. Well, I just gotta go for it. Do, 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 do. Again, no point rushing it. I know I'm off here. 
And I got all the fuel left in the tank to make this one happen. Do, 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 do. Well, um, that was something, wasn't it? Be more careful, the equipment is expensive, hey, come on now. I took good care of the attack helicopter. He's right though, it is silly to go on now. We'll have to uh, retry it. How was that not a landing? Yeah, uh, I don't quite think the hitbox is what it appears there, but too bad for me. Should I try again for the little cross thing? I don't know, it's just so tempting to go for, but it's a big time sink if I fail it again. The hand gliding bit feels like it takes so long to do. The landing is subjective. Should have just swam through the waters there and gotten onto the moving platform. It's probably a very, very dangerous thing to do, though. Ooh, got a bit higher this time. Round and round we go. Don't fail it again, Jake. Ah, good idea. All right, let's do a tight turn on this then. Try and get into position for it. Really want that goal. It's so good. It's so good to nail this. <sighs> do not like my approach though, and neither does the game. I'm off to the side as well. Oh, it's coming apart. I'm going to overshoot it badly. Oh. Great landing. All right. Let's mash. So what's your mashing technique? For me, I keep my thumb... Uh, oh, how do you even describe it? The knuckle of my thumb is on the circle, and the tip of my thumb is just shy of the square. And I'm just rocking it back and forth, kind of vibrating my hand so it just keeps hitting, um, well, the A button. I suppose it would be on the Super Nintendo. Clean 35. Clean 40. There we go. Put that in your pipe, Al. Your motorbike exhaust pipe. I am pretty proud. Uh, let's do skydiving. Now getting through these rings can be a real pain with that wind hitting you. I think the radar shows the direction of the wind. Either that or it's showing north. I, I won't claim to know. I've never really thought about the wind much when playing the game before. You don't think you feel. Oh, oh, crikey. I felt that one passing me by. This to me just seems like the hardest bonus stage to get. How do you land on that tiny moving platform? I only barely hit the the biggest, most obvious moving platform on Tony's stage. This is just something else. However, I can get pretty damn close to the center. Oh, no, no. Button mashing is always bad in the game. Freaking owl. Alright, let's go, rocket belt. Actually, Tiberius, it's, it's very not painful to play. Then again, I'm, I've got my gigantic nostalgia glasses on. So I can only speak for myself here. I'm very wary of when people keep submitting games that, you know, they love from their childhood. It's like, here, here's this Germanic economic simulator from 1993. You'll love it, Jake. And I'm looking at it going, will I? Will I really? Are you quite certain about that?
Jake hating on the guild. The guild was bigged up for me so much by people whose opinions on games I respect, and it was still horrible. And I didn't do the perfect hands of twice, I only did it one. Oh, right, right, Railway Simulator. Neither of those games are from 1993. And I am very open of the shortcomings of both of those games. Especially Patrician. I feel a bit bad for gaming minds, though. I mean, they, they put out... They put out Railway game, and hey, it's pretty good, but man, it just can't handle the levels of perfection their previous games did. And then they had... Uh, Port Royal 4, and I really think that one missed the mark entirely. Maybe it's a better game by now. I believe it's had a lot of updates since it came out, but it just feels so wrong. Feels like, uh... Feels like they had a game, and then for some odd reason they brought in a bunch of Americans for no good reason. And they just ruined everything that was great and Germanic about it. And the Germanics, obviously lacking any sense of humor, didn't understand what was going on and couldn't put an end to it. Right in the middle, please. Great landing. You seem to be a net. Oh, if I was just a little bit faster, his tears could have been flowing. Time is tight on that one. I cannot deny my desire to crash this freaking plane with no survivors. What do you think, guys? Are we going to crash the plane? I can't guarantee that it's actually going to get me enough points if I do that. But it might. It might. Yeah, Weird Al's been talking too much smack. He doesn't deserve this biplane. He doesn't even know how to fly it. How is he judging me on this? Well, I guess those who can't teach. Land, oh, I'll give you a landing, all right. A landing you'll not soon forget. I still have my five and one quarter inch floppy for my Commodore 64 Pirates, says Alik Spurdo. I played Pirates and I thought it was very good, but I don't think there's any way I could play it today and still think it's good. It'd be a rough experience for all. And the only thing it would have going for it is nostalgia. And I wouldn't even have that much nostalgia for it, because I didn't actually play it until I was a teenager. It was still good, but, I mean, there's better. Better games, maybe not better games in that genre. I certainly had a lot of time looting enemy pirates. Alright, alright. I'm watching the altitude. I'm more concerned about the wind that's still blowing me over to my left. It's alright, though. We have everything we need for a safe and slick landing. Break? I think not. Let's go! Yeah. Enjoy your freaking plane, Al. Get out of my face and give me my license. Circle over the sea. Yes. I might think about that. Magnificent. We've earned ourselves certification. Golden certification. As you already know, I would like to ask you to do something above and beyond. Damn right it's above and beyond. I want more than a shiny little pin for this one. Do not be such a coward. No! this extra credit? Off immediately. 
All right, the evil syndicate has grown, and they now kidnapped a government VIP that opposes... I didn't understand half of these words when I was playing it. As a kiddo, I just understood helicopter raining bombs down on baddies. Please, he is my brother. All right, let's do it. I will 95% certain get shot down here. I'm not good at this. Then again, I surprised myself by winning before. It's just bombed the ship that brought us here in a show of defiance. That's the problem, Franzu. The pictures did look cool. The whole game looks cool. It's just not very cool to play that. Style over substance, perhaps? Well, even the substance wasn't that bad. It was just bad for me. Right, I have a feeling that making a bees line for the location is a bad call because it has a gorillion different things shooting at you. So let's skirt around the outside here. Which is going to be even worse because it just means I'm going to get shot off center, but... Uh, worry about that later. Oh yeah, this is the final level. It's a very, very short game. Fortunately for uh, me and my brothers growing up, it was a very new game, never played anything quite like it. So it got a lot of replay value in trying to actually win through these, uh, these courses. I'll never forget the look of shock and disappointment on my mother's face when one Christmas I got Paperboy 64, and I beat that game before Christmas was even done. And that's not just because I was spending all the time on the N64. We actually do things as a family on Christmas. But uh, more the case of, you know, that game probably cost 60 quid, because N64 games were very expensive. Unjustly so. And I was, in massive quotes, done with it so soon. But I wasn't done with it. I actually went back and played through a lot more of it, and the game had a bunch of uh, optional optional things to achieve, lots of hidden things to go get, and, well, I had no problem going and getting all those, because I was a kid with no standards. Now I would have a hard time justifying going through all that. Oh, jeez. Oh, I don't like this. I do not like this at all. It's so stressful. One single hit and you are kaput, shot out of the air. No ifs, no ands, certainly no buts. And then you just watch the decline and explosion. Oh, we haven't seen the game over screen before, have we? That's a new one. Very difficult mission. I can't manage it in one shot. Lucky sure as hell can't manage it in one shot. I don't think pizza managed it in one shot. <laughs> but hey, who knows, Baron might finally make it here and defeat it. All right, maybe going around the sidey ways was too much of a smart move for me. We'll take the take the direct route. I told Baron to buzz off. I didn't want him getting spoilt on this. It takes a while to get your altitude as well, and I think this is the kind of mission where you want to be at maximum altitude. Gives you the most maneuvering and the best aim at everything. Then again. Maybe there are disadvantages to it that I'm not seeing. Oh, jeez, this was maybe not the best route to take then. Did a shot come from the jungle there? I'm not seeing anything now.
How about this, Jake? If Baron defeats it, I'll give $100 to a charity of Jake's church. Nah. Oh, oh, Christ! I see what you're doing. You're posting monetary values in chat to put me off my game here. Crafty bean. Anyway, I don't like that kind of bet, because there's nothing on the line. Well, I mean, there's only something on the line for you. Let's just bomb indiscriminately. Surely hit something. Oh yeah, this was a much better route to take. So simple. Good. Not good, not good! Jeez, there's so many of them. And they're still firing, oh Jesus, oh Christ. Have mercy. Maybe once I've scrubbed all the floors in Gamelon. Is that a Corridai expression? Alright, that should be enough. We'll take it low so we don't get spooked by anything else. <laughs> Seems like Jake being shot at is the theme of today. Five should keep me okay. And let's just slowly make our way over to the helipad. I've seen plenty of people get this far and then just go straight into the soup. And whilst it will never stop to be amusing, I don't want to be the source of that amusement today. Easy does it. Oh, very easy does it. Great landing. I can't believe I got shot now. Lucky's gonna... That was a reference. And a damn good one. Oh, we do get to see him crying. Excellent. Exceptional performance. And again, this flight club that we've joined. Don't know why the military wouldn't get involved. I think it says something like political reasons they wouldn't or couldn't. And that's, uh, that's your lot. Or is it? Now there we go. Now, I guess this would be a pretty cool experience to have. Just because you did really good at flight school, you got all these people forced to salute you. Every single one of them probably thinks you're a massive toss pot. Doesn't matter. You're better than them. It's the kind of feeling I get every time I win a weekly one-shot. This is what I'm envisaging in my head. You know, there's Max over there. There's Baron right there. There's Bellcat being forced to salute. Tears in their eyes, never knowing that they will never be this good. Actually, in the background, that's actually Tony on the left. Shirley in the center. There's, um, what's his face? Is that Tony? Yeah, Tony coming up. And Big Al at the end to present. Why are we saluting him? He only knows how to ride a motorbike. You can get that license at 17. In the end, all of the Air Force bows down to the guy that rides a motorbike. Incidentally, I got my motorbike license at 17. Good times. Is that it, though? I forget if you have to reset. Well, let's speed up. Ooh. that it? Hmm. Just reach over to our Super Nintendo and hit the reset button. Ah, there we go. It remembers.
Damn right, John. Yet another successful long play. That uh, lets us continue on over at the, uh... At the place we did there. Just let us choose the mission. Oh god, no, it just takes us back here. But I think... You know, one thing we haven't seen is the joy of just plowing the scra uh, skydiver guy straight into the freaking ground. Seems a fitting point to end on. This, this looks like so much fun. I'd love to try skydiving someday. <laughs> Give it the old Baron special. Alright, deploy shoots now. <laughs> At least we still get 20 points. The wind is very not nearly as strong as we are. Okay, that was uh, a great way to rinse the taste of High Fleet out of my mouth. I don't know what I'm going to do with the long play. I will figure that out at some point. God knows even... Well, let's think about the last time this happened. It was with uh, Space Port? Space Colony? Space Colony sounds about right. Uh, that won the long play. We played it, and about an hour and a half into it, we realized the game was terrible. Actually, we realized early on, gave it a chance for another wee bit, and then... It was just no. So we chose to go with a different game from the same developers, Stronghold Crusaders. Not really sure there's another decent game by these guys out, but... Oh well, gives us something to work with. In any case, I will come up with something and weekly justify it to you all. Uh, but until I'm back with tomorrow's stream, which is actually a wild card of Football Manager, it's a cheers and a... Oh. Hmm.